hi everyone welcome to this session so today uh, we will try to solve this interview question okay so here we have to find uh, r in and r out okay and uh, then we have to comment uh, like the what is the significant uh, of this circuit okay like what is the circuit so uh, we know to find uh, uh, impedance at a node with respect to ground uh, what we do to find that we like if if this is the point we have to find the impedance what we do is we apply a small signal test voltage let's say v test with respect to ground and find like here this will be the circuit area, okay and find what is the current uh, coming coming out of this voltage source and we take the ratio of uh, v test by i test okay i test and find the uh, impedance uh, at this like looking into this node with respect to ground and uh, and we also do all the all the independent sources is inactive all the independent source inactive okay what is means uh, if we have a independent voltage source let's say voltage source then it is short circuited right and if we have a independent current source then it is open circuited right so you you can you can use this method and find like you you have to use some kcl and kbs and you can find this uh, r in and r out easily okay but here we are going to uh, solve this uh, r in and r out intuitively okay and we know that for a current source we can assume that like like here here if this is not present okay if this is not present then uh, the the uh, like current source is is ideal right but we know that every current source has a, a finite uh, parallel resistance that is rs so for our uh, intuition like easy calculation we will assume rs is very very greater than r in okay r in and r okay <clears throat> so we know that uh, for find uh, to find impedance what we know is independent source are inactive so what will be our reduced circuit so here it is our mosfet and here we are assuming that rs is very 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 high impedance so this will be this will act as a open circuit right so 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 and is is independent sources so this will be also as open circuit and this rs is also open circuit right and this current source is also open circuit so this will be like this and this vdd is grounded right uh, vdd is like vdd is also like a dependent uh, independent sources so this will be a voltage source and this will be ground and here it is our r right so here we have to check this r in and we have to check here it r out so so if 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 this is a circuit so here this is r so we can we know that no current can go through the gate terminal of this MOSFET. so if if no current can goes through this terminal so no current can coming out of this branch so this will be also a zero zero ampere this is a zero ampere right so if if a resistor like if a if a, if current through a resistor is zero then what will be the voltage drop across the r this will be also a zero right like ir is also is zero so if a volt uh, like voltage drop of a resistor is zero so this is nothing but a short circuit right so then the circuit will simply look like this as the voltage drop across the r is zero so we can directly short circuit this uh, this branch right so then our circuit is very easy so this becomes a diode connected this becomes a diode connected device right 
so what will be the looking in impedance at, at at this point like this this point and this points are same right this is short circuit so the impedance of r in and r out will be same now if we if we consider challenge length modulation okay if we consider challenge length modulation and this is our m all what will be the r in r in will be nothing but on over gm gm parallel ro like rds rds of this mosfet and this will be same as r out right as this is a diode connected device and if we neglect challenge length modulation like if if we have if we neglect challenge length modulation so r rds is infinite right so then then the impedance will be on over gm right so this will be the answer of this of this r in and r out condition okay now we have to we have to tell what is the significant of this circuit okay so so we can see that the imp impedance like input impedance of a of a black box is on over gm is a very less impedance right like it will be like we can assume that it will be around 25 to 30 ohm okay so if a if a input impedance of a block is very less and output impedance is also very less right this will r in equals r out right so output impedance is also very very less so this will be less so uh, what type of circuit is this like we can uh, comment what type of amplifier is this so here our input is input is current and output is our voltage so this will be a like what type of amplifier we can say this will be a, like our output is voltage and input is current so this will be a nothing but a trans trans impedance amplifier right this is a trans impedance amplifier okay as our output is voltage and uh, input is current and which type of which which type of like uh, we can uh, consider this amplifier as a dependent sources right dependent sources yes so you are so like which type of dependent source it is as our input is very like input impedance is very less and output impedance also very less so this will be not, nothing but a current control voltage source right this is nothing but a current control voltage source as we know that the like here the circuit is sensing a current so the impedance must be very very less and here we are taking an output and it this this output is voltage and this will act as a uh, like ideal voltage source from here from this node okay from this node and here we are measuring a current like sensing a current at this node so this this impedance must be very very lower so that we can sense the maximum current at this node so this will be a this will be a current control voltage source so this is the significant of this circuit okay and we are we have find that r in equals r out is nothing but on over gm if we neglect channel length modulation okay so this is this is how we can analyze analyze this circuit intuitively okay and if you, you you can do the same analysis like by applying some test voltage and measuring test current uh, and and putting like and making all the uh, independent sources inactive okay so this is the circuit and this type of question is already asked in gate exam okay gate uh, gate 2023 exam okay like in gate 2023 exam uh, like some some question was there like uh, finding some input and output impedance uh, we have to comment on which type of uh, dependent sources it was okay this type of question is already asked in gate so thank you everyone if you find this this is like this is important for you so you can like like and subscribe our channel okay and you can put your valuable suggestions for my further videos okay so so thank you